Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lachlan. So welcome to a new reading vlog. I wanted to explain the things I, I purchased. So this little Slytherin um, notebook thing, I'm gonna take out the paper and then put it in the little binder. I wanna use this as like a reading notebook or like a planner or something. I'm not really sure um, how I'm gonna exactly use it, but. And then this package was just, um, they're little like microblading. I think that's what you call it, microblading. I got them off Amazon. Nothing incredibly important, but yeah. And then I just have this little package that I forgot to open, so I'm gonna open it now. This is, oh shoot, <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay, so these are like little stamps. These are definitely not the ones that I ordered, so interesting, okay. This is what came. I'll have to see which ones I ordered because I did not order those. Hopefully they're cute. I think I just like wanna use them for annotating like in books and stuff, but we'll see how that goes. They're just like little stamps. So I just looked at my order and this is definitely not what I ordered, which is really frustrating because the website I ordered them from has shut down and you can't even like, I went to, I had to go to the My Shop app to show me what I ordered and this was like, this was not it. Okay, anyway, I need to finish the cheat sheet. I have 20 pages left, so I need to do that. And then I want to start all in. If you watched my last reading vlog, I read Full Tilt. So maybe I should just jump straight into this. I don't really know. I feel like if I don't pick it up right now, I'm never gonna pick it up because it's one of those things where like, it's a duet and it's, better to read it like while it's fresh on your mind. So I'm gonna start it and we'll see how far we get. It is currently 1.45 in the afternoon. That's all I have to say. Oh, and June is my birth month. So I'll be celebrating a birthday this month. I'm going on vacation to the beach in just a few days. And I'm really excited because we're gonna be at the beach for like a long time for like eight days and it's gonna be amazing but yeah and then i'm reading disappearance of draco malfoy i'm so excited well i haven't started it yet but i'm going to and i'm very excited <laughs> so anyway that's my plans i'm just gonna start this book <laughs> I'm four pages in and it's already really sad. <laughs> so I'm eating my feelings and Cheez-Its. This one might get me. If, if the other one, since the other one didn't get me, this one might, I don't know. Okay, so I am 29 pages in. I definitely feel like this one could end up being five stars. I know I'm speaking very soon. 
but I'm just saying how much I'm loving it and how angsty it is. I'm really liking this one. How do I talk about this without spoiling it? I will just say that this is giving caretaking. It's giving two damaged people that need each other. This is the best flavor. Hello, so I finished All In by Emma Scott and I gave this one and a half stars. Let me explain. There was like a conflict in the beginning of the book and I was loving it. Basically this person, I don't want to spoil anything, but this person was kind of like relapsed into an addiction, so to speak. I don't know if it was a relapse or just like they just went deeper into their addiction and the love interest was helping them. Okay, and I was eating it up because I love that kind of thing. And as soon as that conflict went away, it got so incredibly boring to me. There was nothing, there was no like, I don't know. Okay, another thing is the two love interests were separated throughout 90% of this book. So they were not together, they were in different cities. That was also just like really making it not enjoyable. Another thing is the side characters did not feel very developed. They didn't feel fleshed out. I didn't give a shit about them. They all could have died and I wouldn't have cared. I didn't care about any of the conversations with the side characters, zero, zip, none of them. I was like, this is so boring. So I just kept reading because I was like, I just want to finish this book. Plus I read it by the pool and I didn't want to bring another book out there. So I literally just like stopped annotating, but I kept reading. Lastly, this book had trauma for the sake of trauma. There was something in this book that I really hate reading about in books. It's just something I don't enjoy. It's a trigger for a lot of people. It's not a trigger for me. It's just something that I don't want to read about. And it was in here and I just hated it. I just hated it so much. I was like, what is the point of this? There was absolutely no point to this little like, it was used as like a conflict towards the end of the book. And I just thought it was so cheaply done. I didn't mind the characters. The characters were like the main characters. I didn't mind them, they were fine. The side characters I could have given two shits about. So that's my overall thoughts on this. Um, I stopped annotating, so I have a half tab book. I just don't care, I, whatever. I'm about to go to half price books to get rid of all these books that I um, unhauled in my last unhaul. I still haven't gotten rid of them. So I need to go take those. And also I did end up finishing the cheat sheet I talked about this in my last vlog, so I'm not really going to go in depth. This was cute. It was fine. The ending was like a little much. I probably land on three stars because I did enjoy it. I thought it was really cute. Would I ever reread it? No. Lastly, we have an unboxing. So, well, whatever. an unbagging, so to speak. Let's just open this. Also, I know my hair looks crazy right now. I'm about to get my hair done today, so I'm just putting this in. The I took it out of the my bun that I've had it in for the past two days, and it's atrocious, but it's, I don't care, it's fine. Okay, so a couple months ago, I purchased this little like fanny pack from Lululemon, and I love it. She's great. The only thing is, the way I wear it, it lays like this, and everything falls out of it, like literally. If I'm intoxicated, this I can't use this bag. Because I lose everything. So, and that's not an exaggeration. Like everything falls out and then I'm like, oh my God. Have to... <laughs> anyway, okay, so I bought another similar bag that hopefully things will not fall out of. This is like literally so cute. Look at this. It is corduroy. I just love the lime green. So it's called a Brixley bag. And it's got like all these like compartments and little pockets and stuff. Um, it comes with a little strap and then inside, I hope that stuff doesn't fall out whenever I like go to open it or if I leave it open. Cause that's the thing with this one is that I tend to like leave it open a little and that's my fault. 
That's, it's more like user error, I guess. But anyway, so yeah, stuff kind of falls out of this sometimes. So I'm still gonna use this. I love this bag. It's literally so convenient. But yeah, let's um let's put my stuff in this bag. I wanna use it today. I'm really excited. Okay, so here's my lip gloss. This is Fenty Beauty. It's called Fussy, and it's my all-time favorite lip gloss. And then in the bag of here, I still have my universal stuff. That makes me kind of sad. Okay. <laughs> I wore this bag for Universal. I have my wallet. I love, love, love this wallet. It's really cool because like you can basically pull this little tab and then your card comes out. It's a great wallet. So I'll put that in there. It's black inside the bag, so it's gonna be hard for you to see, but. And then I have my gum. This is my favorite flavor. It's peppermint cobalt. Yeah, five gum, whatever. I'll put that in there. And then I have my um, How's the Weather. My Burt's Bees How's the Weather. I got this custom made off of Burt's Bees website and it's my favorite chapstick. I mean, Burt's Bees is like the best, but I think this is like one of the last things in this bag. My Listerine, you know, I love these for when like, if you don't want to chew gum, but you want to freshen your breath. There's like these little card pockets. So I just put the Listerine on the inside of that. Okay, and then this bag has like these little um it's so hard to see because it's black but like this like mesh so in here is a broken ring um i broke this ring whenever i went to universal so i'm just gonna keep that in the bag because i'm like i just need to throw it out and then we have an older seat and then a hair tie i guess i'll put the hair tie in the bag <laughs> okay so i'll zip it up oh wait and then my phone. So this is my current uh, screensaver. This is my current phone case. So I'll just put that in there. Okay, everything fits perfectly and there's still like more zippers and compartments and stuff. And then I'm gonna take this little thing off. I think I'm gonna need to look at the, uh, like a tutorial on how to wear this or something because this is, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna figure this out and then I'm gonna go unhaul those books get my hair done and then I'll show you how I ended up wearing this because I can't figure it out right now. I love it. She always does such a good job and she's so like reasonably priced. I did not get it cut because I'm still PTSD from my previous haircut back in October. It was like, it was either end of September or October where the girl literally cut my hair so short and I couldn't put it in a hair tie to like wash my face. It was so short and oh my God, I hated it. So I'm growing out my hair until further notice. Anyway, I wanted to show you how I'm wearing this. So this is like super cute. I know this shirt doesn't like match it, but whatever. It's really, really cute. I'm wearing it like this. So there's these four things. This is not sponsored. I just really like this bag. So you can wear it different ways, but this is how I'm wearing it today. It's cute and it fits everything. Okay, and I got 75 doll hairs for the books that I sold. I was so shook at I mean, a lot of them were like special editions. So part of me is like, okay, I'm not that shocked, but it's pretty good, $75. And I know I still need to make a pango. I'm very sorry, because I do want to make a pango so that I can post them. And if you guys want to buy any, but I just haven't set up the account and I don't have a printer at home to like print labels and stuff. So I'm going to have to figure that out because I do want to get a pango account. Okay, so let me update you on what I'm currently reading. I am so I'm sorry, I'm just like in a good mood because I just got my hair done. Um, <laughs> but 
I am so proud of myself because I have been doing pretty good with like having a maximum of two current reads. But whenever I have one current read, it just, there's something about that that just makes me feel happy about having one book that I'm currently reading. So I have one book I'm currently reading and that is Angry God by LJ Shen. I'm enjoying the heck out of this book. They went to like a boarding school or something in England. Her family like owns the boarding school. Her name is Lenora and then his name is Vaughn. So he's the child of Vicious. I'm pretty sure Vicious is his dad. Vicious Baron Spencer. Am I getting that right? Anyway, I am 124 pages into this book and I'm telling you, there's something about LJ Shen's writing. I love how she writes her heroes or her, her anti-heroes. I just, I love them so much. They're so toxic and like problematic and I eat that shit up. I just, I, he's such a bully. LJ Shen is really good at bully romance and I know a lot of people don't like LJ Shen and like to each their own. I just like her writing. I don't know her as a person. All I know is that I really like her books and I'm really loving this so far. It's definitely like a bully romance. Her writing is like kind of comforting to me because she was one of the first authors that I read for romance specifically. So like I used to not really read any romance. I used to just do like fantasy, you know, Sarah J Mass and Harry Potter is basically like what I used to read. And then like random self-help books and like nonfiction. But then whenever I got to romance, I think I'm pretty sure LJ Shen is what introduced me. Either that or Penelope Douglas. It was either the Devil's Night series or um, the Sinners of Saint series. I cannot remember which came first, but either way. Yeah, so in that way, like her writing is comforting and also like because it's connected to the series that introduced me to romance, it's like special. I don't know, it just feels special. So I, this is the last book in this All Saints High series and I'm really enjoying it. Also like the special edition cover is just so freaking pretty. Oh, so the cover ties in because he sculpts art. Well, I think they both do. The premise is like they're both competing for this spot as like an intern for this like certain school or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, it's good. It's giving bully. It's giving what it needs to give. I think that's all my updates. I just ate Popeye's chicken nuggets and they were amazing. It's funny, we were like in the drive-thru and I was like, oh, did they have like the, the KFC, you know, basket or whatever? And Jake was like, does Popeyes have the KFC basket? No. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, you're right. We're at Popeyes, not KFC. Okay, anyway, that's all. That's all for now. I'm currently on my way to GameStop to buy the new Zelda game. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna get Bobo tea. Yeah. Okay, Zelda is secured. Oh, she's upside down. <laughs> she's beautiful. I'm so excited. I have played every Zelda game. I've played all of them, so I'm really excited to play this. Strawberry green tea with strawberry poppers. Strawberry green tea with strawberry poppers? Yes. All right, anything else you? That's it. All right, first one, please. Thank, Thank you. you. Got my bubble tea and I'm gonna go home and play the new game. I'm probably gonna be up all night. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Okay, so I'm about to go back to GameStop and sell all these games to them. I'm gonna get rid of Octopath Traveler, Mario Odyssey, Kirby. These are all games that I've already beaten and I don't think I'll ever like play again. Love these games, they're amazing. Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Luigi Mansion, Xenoblade Chronicles. I wanna get the third Xenoblade Chronicle game. Sorry, it's not focusing. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm also gonna get rid of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, but I need to find the case for it. I don't know where my case is. So I'm gonna see how much money they'll give me for these games. Video games are freaking expensive. I'm gonna keep these and then I have more downstairs, but yeah. Anyway, these are all amazing games.
but I've just already beaten them. Okay, I'll do a little GameStop haul. I got $120 for the games that I sold, so I got some stuff. <laughs> okay, I got this little Kirby squish thing. It's super freaking cute. And then these are the games that we got. So I got Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm really excited to play that. This is what Jake got, and then this. Hello, so I have a few packages to open, but before we do that, I'm gonna update you on what I've been reading. So I finished Angry God. I gave this four and a half stars. I went into this book with an open mind because I know that LJ Shen tends to write heroes with like very questionable morals and I ended up loving it. I cried at the end. I got really emotional. Lenora, who is the main female character, she was definitely not like other girls, but I wasn't bothered by it. I really liked her and I also really love Vaughn. Oh my god. This is definitely my favorite from the kids book. So the adults, like their parents have three books and then the kids have three books. This is the last one in the series and this is definitely my favorite. Um, I'm giving this a really high four and a half star. The Touch Her New Die vibes are there. It's almost like a second, well it's not really second chance, but it's definitely like they're, it's like an enemies to lovers, but it's so good. Like I just, I eat up LJ Shin's writing. I don't know, it's, there's something about it that it's just almost like a guilty pleasure. The term guilty pleasure isn't really like a, a good way to explain it because there's no guilt involved, but it's just... I don't know. I just, I love it. There is a scene in here that is ingrained in my brain forever. Like it was so, so spicy. Immediately after I finished that, I was like, I'm going to have a book hangover if I don't jump into something right now. So I picked up The Risk by L. Kennedy. And this is a part of the Briar U series, which is a spinoff of Off Campus. And I'm currently 176 pages in, so I'm on chapter 19. I started this yesterday and it is really slow. It's a rival hockey team situation, if that makes any sense. Like her dad's over this one team and then Jake is over, yeah, they're rivals, okay? And it's got fake dating and it's really cute. So I really do like Jake a lot so far. This man is spicy. Yeah, I forgot how spicy Al Kennedy's books are. This is, this is smutty. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'll keep you posted with my thoughts. And then I did actually start another book last night on my Kindle because I like to read before bed. And I started June 1st by Jennifer Hartman. And Jennifer Hartman has done me wrong in the past. I absolutely love Still Beating, but I've read a few others by her and I just was not a fan. But yeah, so I, I started June 1st last night. And ironically enough, I started it on May 31st, which is like when the book starts. It's May 31st in the book and then on June 1st. This is not a spoiler. Basically, the main character, he's like a little boy. He's like six years old. You're in a six-year-old's head at the beginning of the book, his point of view. And there's like a murder-suicide with his family. And then, so that's tragic. And then he gets like adopted by this family. I don't know if it's like a neighbor family or like a fam family, friend, whatever. He gets like essentially adopted and this adopted family has a baby named June. So I am about 60 pages into this book and it, it's still his point of view as a child. So now I, I think he's like eight or nine, maybe 10, but I'm still in his point of view, like 60, 70 pages into this book. And I'm considering DNFing because the first like three chapters, he's six years old and that was hard enough to get through. I'm just like not a fan of being in a kid's head. First, it's, it just, it just makes me feel weird. There have been books that um, like in the beginning, you're in a, you know, an adolescent's head, but it usually lasts for like 50 pages from, from the books that I've read. It, it lasts around 50 to 60 pages. Well, I went ahead and like looked to see, okay, how long is this going to last? And it, he is a kid throughout a lot of this freaking book. And I'm like, okay, so he basically falls in love with this baby named June and it's a taboo romance. And so like, I know that that's fine. I'm fine with the taboo-ness, but I am just kind of like bored. I don't know. There's supposedly like three tragedies that happen. So I've been through the first one. I don't know what the second and the third tragedy are. If you can convince me to pick the book back up, I might. I don't know. But then there's other books that I would rather be reading before bed. So I feel bad because my friend Manda wanted me to read this one and I told her I told her I would, but I just, I don't know. And I'm hesitant of Jennifer Hartman now because I'm just like, 
I don't really trust her fully. There's been one book that I really love by her, but she has kind of like earned my, you know, reading. I don't know if that makes sense. Not to sound like cocky, but like, I don't want to spend time reading her book if I don't know if I'm going to love it. And I haven't enjoyed it so far. That's my whole point. Anyway, so let's open up these packages. I'm excited because I don't know what's in here. Um, here's the first one. I mean, I think I could probably guess what's in here. It's probably like a bookmark I ordered. But a lot of these packages like from Etsy, I'll order them and then literally get them three, four months later because of how far everything's shipping from. So this one's international, like it went through customs. Oh my God, this is stunning. Okay. I... I'm obsessed with this. So it's just like a cardboard paper, but this is so pretty. With the little tassel. This is a Slytherin bookmark, if you didn't, if you couldn't tell, you know. This one is by Rachel Hasley. This is her business card, and then the back. And then I have this package, which is probably also a bookmark. I went a little crazy buying bookmarks. That's nothing new. I have a whole bookmark collection video if you want to see all the bookmarks that I have. Like, I love buying bookmarks. I just think it's like a fun thing to collect and I use all of my bookmarks. So, okay. So it's got this cute little packaging. It says, your order made my day. I hope this package makes yours. So it's definitely a bookmark. <laughs> Merlin's beard. I love this. I didn't know you could read. Reading. Reading? I didn't know you could read. If you didn't know, I started a Patreon and in that Patreon I started a book club and I was literally up until like three, four o'clock in the morning working on my Patreon stuff when I was just like thinking of all these fun ideas and I could not stop. So I worked on all my Patreon tiers literally at three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning one night and I was like, it just like came to me. I was like, oh my God, how cute would it be if I did, I didn't know you could read book club. So that's what that's from. It's a line from Draco. It's actually a line that wasn't scripted. I'm obsessed with this. Oh, I can't wait to use this. This is so cute. It's like a faux leather. I love it. And then here's the business card for that. Okay, we have one more and this is <laughs> same theme. Okay, we're going with the same theme because I have a problem. I am so excited. I have to put this on. I wasn't gonna buy this. I wasn't gonna buy it for myself. <laughs> I just, I mean, I obviously did. I did, I just, I had to. So anyway, that's my new t-shirt. I think that's all the updates I have. I'll keep you posted on if I continue with June 1st or not. And I would rather pick up like a fan fiction, you know? I have a bunch of fan fictions downloaded to my Kindle. Bring him to his knees is definitely gonna be on my June TBR. I'm really excited for it. Hello, this is what my current situation looks like. The dogs are just loving it. Laundry everywhere. I'm folding more clothes getting ready to go on vacation tomorrow. And I just have so much shit to catch up on. I still have like two more loads of laundry I need to do. Today is Friday and I'm still reading The, the Risk by L. Kennedy. I haven't read, um, I didn't read it all yesterday. And then today I don't have time. I probably might read tonight if I can get finished with all this stuff. Oh, I don't know if I showed y'all. My friend Liz got me a Draco Squishmallow and it's so freaking cute. Anyway, I need to organize this. Cause this is from my annotation video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I like did this whole little thing. Anyway, that's what I have currently going on. And oh, we have a uh, Prisoner of Azkaban on the telly because I just rewatch these movies over and over until I die. It's great, highly recommend. Okay, I'm gonna fold, pack, and then we're gonna go on vacation. Okay, so today is Saturday and we're about to leave to go to the beach and I'm very excited. Let me just show you the situation that I have going on. With everything I'm taking, you would think that I'm like moving. Literally, I'm bringing so much shit. I have this bag, that bag, beach towels, sunscreen, and then I have this backpack and then this backpack with my work laptop. This backpack has my personal laptop and then we have dog food and then... <laughs> 
I have my like last minute stuff that I need to put in my backpack. Deodorant, charger, beauty blender, perfume. This is the book that I'm gonna bring, My Killer Vacation. Hairbrush, this is Jake's book. Finished laundry yesterday. So there's no more laundry like on the couches and stuff. Our dogs are coming with us. I gotta just go pack the car and then we're gonna go. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. It's love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. That's why I'm spending my life with you. I won't teach you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Hello, I'm here to update you guys on everything I've been reading and then as usual, I have a few packages to open. So we got back from our vacation a few days ago and instead of finishing the two books I was in the middle of, I started two new books. So I'm in the middle of four books currently. I plan to change that. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. I can finish at least two of the books that I have in my hand. I never finish my killer vacation, unfortunately. <laughs> I wanna finish it and I am very close to finishing it. But you guys, I just like don't really read on vacation. I've come to that conclusion. The last time I read more significantly on a vacation was that whenever I went to Harry Potter World and I was sucked into Manigold. I feel like that was an exception because Manigold is just like so amazing and I made a point to like read it and stuff. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't really read. I read more of this the day that we got back from vacation than anything. I'm on page 233 and I'm not gonna lie, I had kind of low expectations for this book. In the beginning, I wasn't really feeling it just because it was sort of insta-lovey. The book is not very long and I don't know, I just was kind of like wary. But this is really smutty and I'm just like here for that. Basically, it's a good time. I love the vacation vibes. I loved it happened one summer. Um, I've stayed away from some of her other books just because I've given one of her books one star. But after I give an author one star or like if I hate a book that much, I'm like not gonna really wanna pick their book up. But I picked this up because it was a gift and I owned it. So I, I don't own any other Tessa Bailey books other than the ones I've already read. But long story short, actually that was long story long. I am just really enjoying the spice in this book and that's really all I have to say about it. I, I never really talked about what it's about, but it's about this girl who rents a beach house. I mean, like it was very relatable because like that's what we were doing. She rented a beach house and then she found a dead body and then this guy is like an ex bounty hunter, I think, something like that. Yeah, so I'm almost finished with it. I'm still in the middle of The Risk by L. Kennedy. I am on page 250. It's a lot more mundane than some of her other books, which I don't mean in a bad way, but there's just more like, it's. it feels a little bit slower. 
but it's really spicy and yeah I, i've already talked about this book to you guys so i'm not going to go over it again but this is one that i'm hoping to finish if not today then tomorrow and as well as my killer vacation so we'll just see how my night goes but yeah i really want to get these knocked off and then as you guys saw i did start tom felton's beyond the wand i started annotating it i'm going to have a whole annotation video on my patreon just like an annotate with me video i'm loving this so freaking much oh my god like it is just i i just love everything about it i love learning about you know his experiences when he was on the harry potter it's on the tip of my tongue Ca not cast but set harry potter set so i'm on page 111 and i'm loving it like i just i love everything about it um it's you know turning out to be a five star which i know that's kind of weird to i know some people don't like to rate autobiographies and things like that but if i'm writing it on enjoyability i am fully enjoying this book and i'm really glad i picked it up in my birthday month just because you know i want to read really good books in june and it's also Draco's birthday was June 5th, so I love that. But yeah, I'm not even halfway through, but like so far, it's just been really interesting. And hearing him talk about his experience, it makes him like much more human. I mean, I know all celebrities and things like that are human, but you know, we kind of like build them up in our head, so to speak. So yeah, it's really like, I just, I'm obsessed with this so far. Okay, and then the last book I'm reading and then we'll get to the packages I have to open. I started Bring Him to His Knees, and this is a cover that my friend Melody, I, I believe she made the cover. I just dropped all my books. That's wonderful. But yeah, and she made the cover and then sent me the PDF or the like e-file for me to download and send to my Kindle, and that's how I have the cover of the book. So thank you so much, Melody. This book is amazing oh my god it starts out very slow the first probably 20 percent, i was pretty unsure of like what like well i knew what the plot was but i was like you know is it gonna pick up the pace you guys this book has picked up the pace i'm fully invested let me see how far i am so i'm 46 percent into the book and i am hooked there is hurt comfort which is like basically the same thing as caretaking so that's one of my all time. Well, when it's done, you know, I've seen it done kind of in like a lazy way and wasn't a fan. But most of the time, majority of the time, I'm so obsessed with hurt comfort or caretaking trope. So that has just happened like where I'm at in the book. And it's extremely smutty. It's extremely spicy. Like I am just I'm so obsessed with them, like their dynamic. There's praise, like, oh my God, the way he talks to Hermione, like, I just, I love it. So essentially, this is a murder mystery with fake dating. Draco is an Auror, and he, him and Hermione basically sign up for this, like, mission, so to speak, to solve this murder. And they end up having to go to, like, this kink house. It's basically, like, this mansion full of either you have to be really, really elite and rich to have, like, a membership there, or if you're rich and like you have to go with a couple so you can't ever like go alone draco had a membership because of he you know he's a malfoy but then he didn't go for so long so then the, like the membership canceled out or something so then it required them to go as a couple i don't know the like I, I don't really care about the details to be honest because i picked this up because i wanted it spicy it took a bit to get there like i thought it was going to be immediately spicy but it wasn't which is kind of a good thing because you know you know built the build up but it's really good and it actually deals with a lot more of the trauma aspect than i was expecting because i really wasn't expecting it to get extremely deep but this is i feel like it's a really well-rounded spicy germany fan fiction because draco is going through some shit like he's not catching a break and he's also very he has trauma and he's like got some ptsd some things have happened to him in this where i'm like holy shit we need to protect draco i have really nothing negative to say about it so far other than in the beginning it was almost getting a little bit repetitive but that kind of stopped once it started to like really pick up pansy is actually kind of like a big part of the book because she's dating harry and pansy gives hermione all these like basically like sex tips and dating tips because pansy had dated draco in the past so she you know she's like oh girl i got you this is what he likes which i'm not gonna lie that part's a little weird but like i'm it's fine i'm just here for the germany 
Like I don't really care about the pansy, whatever. So some of what pansy says is a little bit repetitive, but I also just kind of like glaze over it. And I'm like, okay, okay, yeah, we got it pansy. Like you've been with Draco before, you know, you know, whatever. I feel like I'm rambling, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, if I were to rate it right now, it'd be a solid probably four and a half just because it started to make me really emotional. And you guys, I'm telling you the sweat in this, <laughs> the spice, like another thing I really love about this is that Draco's extremely possessive. He, he doesn't want to share, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is what the back of my Kindle looks like. If you haven't seen it yet, I think I decorated it in my last vlog. Anyway. Yeah. So I'm really loving this and I hope to finish it this weekend because I I'm definitely not gonna finish it today or tomorrow. So that's everything I'm currently reading. So let's jump into the packages because there's one of these that I'm really excited for. Give me a little sneak peek. But first, let's open the non-bookish one just because, you know, suspense, I guess. Okay, so y'all remember when I opened up my other little Brixley bag? Well, I loved it so much that I got another one. Okay, and this one is freaking adorable. So this is called the Teddy and it's a brown cord corduroy. That was a hard word to say, but it's essentially the same bag, but in brown. And I love this because they were out of stock and then they restocked and then I ran, I ran to put this into my car because it's just like so adorable. Anyway, so I'm not gonna go through it because I already showed you guys the other one, but it's the same one in brown. It's so cute. It's literally called the Teddy, so I had to get it. Okay, and then this one's exciting because it's desperately needed. I bought myself some more highlighters. I am like really in desperate need of highlighters, but I want to, like all of my highlighters are dried and old, literally all of them, so I need to go through all of my highlighters and really test them and see like which ones I need to throw out. But in the meantime, I did buy like a little small pack of my favorites. These are like the only highlighters that I really like using these days because I've tried so many and so many just like stop working within like a few uses and that drives me crazy. And also these do not bleed out for me. Like, so they ghost through the page basically where if you highlight and you flip the page, you can see like a faint color. That doesn't bother me, but they don't bleed. So like basically bleeding is where you can really see a lot of the ink coming through the page. That doesn't happen for me. If you wanna go watch my annotation video, I go through all of the things that I use, like stickers and ways that I annotate. It's like a 30 minute video. I set up my little annotation station. So you can go check that out. But I did buy more tabs as well, just because like they were on sale. Yeah, these are like my favorite. So got more. And I mean, I didn't splurge. Like this is like pretty mild, okay? Pun intended, because these are called mild liners. And then I have this package. Let me explain. I joined into the like dragon, fourth wing dragon hunt. A couple weeks ago, it was around the time that the book was really hard to find in store. And I was taking pictures in Barnes and Noble. I posted it to my Instagram and I was like, hashtag fourth wing dragon hunt or whatever, whatever the hashtag was. And I won. I won the freaking challenge thing, okay? So I'm really excited about this. Let me open it up and then I will show you guys what I got, if I can open it. Oh my God. Okay, so I didn't know that there was gonna be like extra stuff. Is this an art print? Wait, what is this? Is this a poster? I think it's a poster. Okay, hold on. This is so fun. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. It's like a movie poster. Oh my God, this is so fun. It says, you want a dragon, earn one. <gasps> and it's on both sides. Look at that. Oh my God, I cannot wait to hang this up. So I think this is a temporary tattoo. Yeah, so this is definitely like a little temporary dragon tattoo, very cute. And then this is like what I'm really excited for. 
the hats. It says, I'm not a bookworm, I'm a book dragon. If you didn't know, I am a hat girl because I'm 30 years old and I have to protect my, my skin, right? Whenever I was younger, I used to just like go out in the sun, no sunscreen, no hat, nothing. But now, like if I don't wear a hat in the sun, my freaking scalp will get burnt and it's just like not fun. So I basically, anytime I'm outside, I wear a hat. Oh my God, I love it. Ah! I'm not a bookworm, I'm a book dragon. Get it right, bitch. <laughs> anyway, that's really fun. So thank you so much to Red Tower Books because I entered in that contest, not really thinking I was gonna win. And I did, so that's cool. Hello guys, so I'm currently watching The Chamber of Secrets because I don't know what's wrong with me. I just rewatched the movies over and over again. And whenever I finished Deathly Hollows, I restarted. Anyway, I don't really have any reading updates since we last spoke. Um, I have been playing on my Switch a lot, Xenoblade Chronicles, which is amazing. It's such a cool game. So that's kind of like what I've been doing other than um, reading my fan fiction. My goal right now is to finish my killer vacation and then also maybe the risk depending like this isn't going to take me long. So you know what? I can probably finish it like right now. I probably have like 50 pages left. So I'll finish this and then I'm going to pick up the risk because I've been reading that for like probably two weeks now. I was gonna say something and I forgot what it was. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna read now. Okay, I literally read one chapter. <laughs> Why am I like this? I mean, I just want the spice, okay? I was like, oh, I can finish this in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna start reading, okay. I finally finished the damn book. I didn't love it, but I did like it. Didn't care for the third act breakup. And then the love declarations just were very mediocre to me. It just felt like something I had read before. Have another, I feel like every book update, I have like something to unbox. Okay, I have this package. Show you what's in here. So it's more fidget stuff. So it's like this, crystal like you're supposed to like connect them together here's like a close-up of what it looks like and i'm just really hoping because like my nails are so short and they've been so short for such a long time because i just can't stop picking at them so okay yeah this is a winner honestly like i really like how this feels in my hands there's a few other things in here I ordered a bunch just to see like, you know, what I would like. Oh, I forgot I ordered this. Okay, so this is like a Harry Potter one. Okay, it's a golden snitch. And you just like spin it like that. Oh, this is cool. It's like something a two year old would play with. Like that's literally what fidget toys are. It's like to keep your hands busy. I actually kind of like this one because I can hold it with my whole palm. I'm either gonna play a video game or read just a little bit of the risk. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Lunch link. Lunch link. Hello, it's me. I am here to update you guys on what I've been reading and then we can close out this vlog. So I ended up finishing Tom Felton's Beyond the Wand the other day. Five stars. Loved it. I got so emotional. I cried after reading the very last chapter because this book just like 
felt so special to me. Growing up, I always loved the Harry Potter world and everything. It was always like a comfort series. But hearing him talk about like behind the scenes things and his experiences, just getting to read his story, it just felt like an honor, honestly. And I'm really glad that he wrote this. This was like such a special read. I think if you're a fan of the, you know, the series, of the movies or the books, anything, you can probably appreciate this book. So yeah, I love this, five stars. I honestly, it might be a favorite of the year. We'll see how I feel about it. Usually my favorites of the year are books that have just really stuck with me. So I annotated so, so much. This was awesome. Okay, and then I read The Last Word. I started this book like probably a week ago. I don't know why, I was just kind of like in the mood for a thriller. I got the audio from my library, so I was like listening along as I read. And then I picked it back up after I finished Tom Felton's book. Y'all, I hated this so much. It didn't make any sense to me. <laughs> I literally wanted to throw the book so many times. I was just like so annoyed. The only reason I finished it really is because I thought the end would like kind of redeem it because I had heard that there were like crazy plot twists and all this stuff. Also, I had the audiobook from my library. So I was like, I might as well because it's not like a very long book. I hated it. I gave it one star. And I, if you've read the book, I know that's like ironic and stuff because it's about this woman who writes um, a one star review and then the author like tries to kill her and stuff. I mean, I just, it was, this book was so beyond unbelievable. And I don't necessarily need my thrillers or my horrors to be super believable or anything, but this was just, it was so chaotic. It was so like just ridiculous the it didn't make any sense to me i just i hated it double hate 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 honestly i'm gonna take a break from thrillers for like quite a bit because of how much i hated this like i truly i'm getting rid of that book first chance i get um and then i started tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow i started this yesterday on my birthday and so the first like couple hundred, couple hundred, the first like 50 or so pages, I was like, wow, this could be a five star. But then it got a little bit boring. Right now I'm on page 236. And honestly, around page probably like 150, I was like, oh my God, I'm bored. Should I DNF it? But I just kept going because I, I do have the audio. I'm like reading along with this. And I got to this line that honestly is why I kept reading. Like it's, I'm going to finish this book. Let me just read it to you. Um, so Sam, I'm not, it's not a spoiler or anything, but like, okay, Sam and Sadie are kind of like interacting or whatever. And then Sam's internal dialogue, he says, tell me, I don't know you. Tell me, I don't know you when I could draw both sides of this hand, your hand from memory. That line, I was like, okay, we're gonna keep reading because I, that line got me. Honestly, there's a lot of boring shit in this book that I do not care about, but then there's some lines that I'm like, damn, like that is a good line. That one, and then there's like a few others that I've come across and I'm like, that is a good ass line, okay? So do I find it a bit boring? Yes. It is very, very character driven, which I love, but it's, I haven't decided if I like the characters, if you're, reading a character driven story and you don't like the characters whatsoever, you're not going to like the book. Now, I'm not saying I dislike the characters, but I'm trying to figure out if I care about their story or not. So I'm just going to keep reading. I'm not going to finish it in this vlog or anything, but I did want to update you guys. I started this book. This is, um, is it going to be a five star or is it going to be a two star? Like, honestly, I have no freaking idea. There's been so many moments where I'm like, okay, like, come on, this is a bit boring. Like a lot of the video game aspects because the characters are video game developers and there's just so many, and I'm a big video, well, okay, I'm not a huge video game player or anything, but I do love video games. I've loved video games ever since I was a kid, you know, Nintendo, PlayStation, that kind of thing. I'm just not in the video game like community. I'm not like super, my video game knowledge ends and begins with like Game Boy, Nintendo, PlayStation. I don't know a lot about video games and this is a lot of it is just like going over my head, just like way over my head, but the writing is great. So I'm, I, I do have high hopes that this could be 
at least a four star. Okay, and then last night I started Ignite by Melanie Harlow. This is a grumpy sunshine single dad trope where basically he is moving apartments and he moves in next to her or something like that. I haven't gone very far. I'm only like 20 pages in. I'm actually really liking it. But yeah, I don't really have much to say other than like I did start this and it's going good. I think I'm going to close out this vlog here. So if you made it this far, you can leave the cheery emoji. I know that's super random. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will have my Patreon and Instagram linked down below if you do want more content from me. And thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. You should come through tonight